hey hi guys welcome to pcf okay. next we have a and and or function okay and and or function okay so let me so okay so what is what we have what we covered so in um, uh, logical functions okay if you go to the logical function okay so we covered if switch and then next we have and okay what is and okay so if you go with the definition okay if you go with the definition so check whether all con all arguments are true and then return it true if uh, if all arguments are true then only true otherwise it will be false okay otherwise it will be false okay yes that's that matter yes that one yeah so the syntax is very simple guys okay the syntax is like uh, and logical one comma logical two okay and condition okay so and function will check only two logics okay it will check so only two two logics guys okay logical one comma logical two okay so i'm giving simple example guys okay here i'm giving simple example we'll see the complex example in the filter function just try to understand guys okay so if you write and okay and so 10 greater than 2 and 8 greater than 4 something like that okay if you write that okay these two logics are true okay so i'm going to write a okay I'm, i want to print the results guys okay so if you use the if condition okay this is the logic and then what is the syntax for if okay it will check the logic and the result if true and then result if false right result if true so result if true place okay we are going to write okay so both conditions are false okay both condition are false okay both conditions are false or else one of them one or both fail okay one or both Okay, something like that you can write it okay so if any one of this failed okay it will be failed case, okay so but when you write and condition whether it is checking okay whether it is working perfectly or not so we cannot see that case okay but to know that okay to know that okay if you use a if condition okay so whether this logic is true or false okay it will give and then we can see that okay so let me go here and then okay so let me go here in the power bi Okay, let me create some major case. Okay, let me create some major. Sorry, guys. So, let's get this. So now go to the measure. Okay, click on measure. Whatever the and condition we have written. Okay, whatever the and condition. Okay, so just I am going with the and check. Okay, just we are checking right. So and open brackets. Okay, so it's a logical one and logical two case. Okay, it's a logical one. Syntax is a logical one comma logical two. Only two logics it will check. But operator ambient operator case. Okay, double ambient. Okay, it will check multiple condition. Okay, that we'll see that case. Okay. That we will see, check whether all arguments are true and return it true if all arguments are true. Okay. If all arguments are true, then only return true. Otherwise, it will be false. If any one of them false, okay, it will be false. Okay. That we have seen yesterday. Okay. And now, okay, 10 greater than a 2. Okay. Comma. It's a one logic. And then, so 8 greater than 4. Something. Okay. So this is one logic. Okay. If you want to see the results, okay, then obviously you can go with the if condition okay it will check the logics okay if the logic is true okay what is that one or okay so both conditions pass okay both condition pass okay you can write that like that okay and then one na one na both fail okay so let close this okay then close and then see the results okay if you want to see the results where we can see that okay we can see the results in Measure results, we can see that in a visual card. Visuals, okay, any visual, but uh, we'll go with the card, okay, that will be very comfortable. Okay. So, sorry. Okay, so the both conditions are passed, that is the reason it's giving the conditions, okay, okay, it's giving the condition. Both conditions are passed, okay, guys. So, if you check the results, okay, so if you change anything, okay, if any one of them fails, 
intentionally if you change any one of them failed okay this is one logic case okay 10 less than 2 is that true guys 10 less than 2 is that true no it's not true so that is the reason the condition will be failed okay whenever the both conditions pass then only it will be fast otherwise it will be failed okay so if we have an ambassador case okay it's and always check only two two conditions two logics only but ampersand will check multiple conditions okay if you want to check sorry if you want to check ampersand okay if you want to go with the ampersand okay we'll use this ampersand in filter functions guys okay ampersand and uh, even and conditions and equal operator less than or equal to greater than or equal to everything we are going to use in um, filter functions okay you don't worry just here i am just giving the brief about okay here I am giving the brief about the functions case. Okay, what is and and what is R and then okay. If you write ampersand like this, okay, you can write n number of n number of logics. Okay, six greater than three and something. Okay, twenty greater than ten and something. Okay, so you can write all these conditions. Okay, if everything is meet. Okay, so it will be okay. Something somehow is failed, right? Okay, so if you want to make it true, okay, you can make it true and everything is passed. Okay. So then both conditions, okay, all conditions, okay, instead of both, we can write all conditions first. Okay. Okay, guys, hope you are getting, okay, what is the difference between AND function and AND operator, okay, AND operator, okay, and, um, so AND operator will check multiple conditions, multiple logics, okay, it will check multiple logics and then based on that, it will give the results, okay, if it is true, all conditions are true, it will give the true results, okay? Otherwise, it will give the false results, guys, okay? That is about the AND. Next, uh, if you want to see the R, guys, okay? If you want to see the R, this one, okay? So, go here and then uh, write something like R, O, R, R, okay? So, logical 1, comma logical 2, guys, okay? If you see the R syntax, it's a logical 1, comma logical 2, Okay, return true if any arguments are true. Okay, if any arguments are true, return a false. All arguments are false. Okay, whenever we have a, all arguments are false, okay, it will return false. If any one of the true, okay, sorry, any one of the true, it will give the true results. Case, okay, so just uh, ten greater than two again, and uh, three less than one. Or else you can write okay, three greater than one. Okay, so first time we'll uh, return uh, true conditions. Okay, you can go with the if. Okay, the if logical one it will test and then okay the results. Okay, if the results is pass. Okay, so then okay then then okay so condition pass condition pass or else condition fail. You can write like this, and then you can see the results. Case, okay, condition pass. Okay, whenever both conditions are failed, okay, whenever both conditions are failed, okay, then only okay, if one condition fail, even though condition pass only will get it. Okay, but if one both conditions fail, then only the condition fail. Is, okay, hope you are getting what is R. Okay, so instead of this R, okay, we have a R operator, right? Okay, we have a R operator. Okay. You can go and then see the R operators, case, okay? Double pipe. And then if you give any condition true, guys, okay? 10, uh, great, 9 greater than 4, okay? So one condition is true, okay? If any one of that condition is true, okay, it will give true condition, okay? So these first two are failed, even though one is true. So that is the reason it's giving the true, okay? So where we will use all these things and all, okay? I will give definitely, guys. Okay, definitely you will understand a more depth also. But just try to understand the behavior. Okay. Now I am giving only introduction to the functions. Okay. We are going to use these functions in a filter function. I am saying again and again, guys. Okay. Try to understand. Okay. So maybe string was giving a very basic level. So don't feel that. Okay. Definitely we'll give the high level and we'll see that. Okay. Is that okay, guys? Just type. Yeah. Okay, super. So that is about the AND and R. Okay, that is about the AND and R operators and uh, functions. Okay, operators and functions. Okay, we have seen AND and R operators and then 
functions also. Okay. 